We're here this morning to celebrate Tiffany Cinnamon's 20-year anniversary with Maverick. Uh, Tiffany started with us back in October of 2000. Uh, she started as an entry-level HR coordinator. Uh, she'd actually obtained her undergraduate degree from the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville in management with an emphasis in HR and she was working toward her master's in uh, business administration at the University of Arkansas here in Little Rock. Uh, at the time, I was looking for someone who was eager to learn and grow within the department. Uh, and over the years, uh, Tiffany has uh, been very instrumental with several of the acquisitions that we've had here at Maverick. Uh, one that I remember a lot is uh, the Snyder acquisition when we acquired the glass division. It was Maverick's largest acquisition ever. It was, uh, I want to say, right around 400 trucks yeah. uh, and employees. And we spent several months, once we'd actually acquired them, uh, with getting everything transferred over and all of that. And Tiffany traveled to Laurenburg, and I went to Green Bay. We had a lot of fun with it. Uh, and uh, since then, we've done other acquisitions as well. And uh, Tiffany's actually taken the lead in the acquisitions from the HR side of things. So uh, one, we'd like to mention that. She also uh, works on uh, projects in uh, benefits, compensation. Uh, she Her area handles uh, non-driver recruiting, employee relations. And then an, another big accolade for her would be that she actually created Maverick's wellness program. We didn't have an official wellness program, and uh, Tiffany was very adamant uh, that we really needed to set something up to help people focus on health and well-being and exercise. And, of course, being in transportation is a little more challenging for us because of the drivers, you know, and being over the road. So just felt like there was a lot of value there. Uh, she's done a great job, her and her team, with uh, developing a plan for us. Um, Tiffany, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, number sure. one, congratulations on your 20-year anniversary Thank you. with Maverick. Thank you. Uh, what, what interested you in coming to Maverick in the first place? I think my biggest interest was working in human resources. I uh, got out of college right after around the Y2K, so I'll date myself a little bit then. But <laughs> um, and so I took a job working more on an IT HR side. And so I found um, through an HR association, a recruiter for Maverick who was telling me about an um, opportunity that you had. And it really interested me that I'd get to try a bunch of different areas of HR. So, um, and then meeting you, Lisa, um, and interviewing and learning more about Maverick, I just felt like that was going to be a really good fit for me. And I was going to have a, I was really going to enjoy it at Maverick. Never knew what trekking was all about. And boy, <laughs> I picked the right industry because it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, share with us your journey from coming in at entry level HR and in an industry that you really didn't, you know, know much about. Tell us about your journey to your current position as director of HR at Maverick. It's um it's one that when you look back on it, you feel like, gosh, it's gone by so quick mm -hmm. and then you stop and you think about everything you've done, you're like, how could I have done all that in that amount of time? But uh, it was a new industry for me, and I I fell in love with it immediately. I think uh, one of the I still remember going to my driver orientation, and the instructor. It was back in our shop at that time in North Little Rock, and um, I remember thinking, "Oh my gosh, there's so much to learn, and there's so much to to grow and do." And I think I loved the industry because it was challenging and it was constant. You know, you, you were never going to get bored. That was something I learned from day one. And I think that, um, you know, I've just kind of dug in and figured out who to ask when I had questions. I mean, you were great. You were always there to tell me and give me advice and mentor me. And there's so many other people at Maverick including our drivers. I mean, if there was something I didn't understand about how, uh, why they did things or why do you leave out on Sunday or why do you do this? I mean, I always found everybody that was 
eager to give me information to help me be successful. And so um, I think that's just the cool thing about Maverick. Good. So you were pretty amazed and impressed by the knowledge that our drivers have to have then uh, in order to be oh, on the yeah. road and how to secure loads and doing logs and all of that, and then being around the motoring public as well. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a yeah. pretty big challenge for them. I, uh, that you gain a large respect for truck drivers in general. They're some pretty intelligent people. Um, Absolutely. I always uh, what, remember what, too, like uh, in orientation, they and um, showing the log book on my first week uh -huh. in Maverick, and it was done by paper. And at the time, yeah. you know, they gave it to me. I wanted to do everything that you know the drivers were doing to learn and see if I could do it. And I just remember thinking, oh my gosh, I'm never going to get this. You know, it's a little <laughs> ruler, and you do the lines. And so, yeah, I mean, tremendous respect for our drivers and what they do. Well, what do you love the most about your job? You know, it's funny. We get asked this. Uh, I'm part of a hiring team where we hire for supply chain, and this is our number one question. And so everyone in the group, we kind of chuckle when we get asked this because <laughs> we pretty much all have the same answer, and it's our people. Um, all the way down, that starts with um, Mr. Williams and his family and all of our executive team um, to all of our drivers. I mean, we just have the best people. And I think that makes us um, unique and special in what Maverick is. But that's what's really made me love my job, getting to work with just awesome people. Uh, I know you have some memories uh, during your 20-year period here with Maverick. If, if you could share one with us, which one would you like to share? I guess I could go way back in time. And um, one I was just visiting with you recently on was um, a particular individual that used to work in driver orientation. And his name, a lot of you might remember him, Mr. Ed Huffman. And, um, you know, I would do, as part of my job, I did benefits orientation every Wednesday. And I did it for five years. And so for those of you that might be watching that uh, have been here a long time, you might remember that. And so, um, you know, one day I was saying something to the class and trying to get them to, it was a pretty rowdy class, and so I was trying to get them to be quiet and listen to me, and one driver said, y'all better be quiet because her dad's going to get on to you, and I said, my dad? And in, in, in my mind, I'm thinking, my dad doesn't work at Maverick. And I said, well, who's my dad? And he said, you know, Mr. Huffman, he's going to get on to y'all if you're mean to his daughter. And I said, oh, my gosh. And so, and, and that was what um, Ed would call me, his daughter. But I didn't realize he was telling all the drivers that so they would behave when I came over for orientation. So I always remember that. And, of course, I didn't correct the class. I just let them continue yeah. on. <laughs> But I thought, and it goes back to family. I mean, you know, I mean, it. while we joke about it, I think people at Maverick really do care about each other like family. So that's yeah. just one of many stories. Yeah, that's a great story, too. Uh, a lot of us remember Ed, and uh, he was a very special driver for us, and he retired, of course. And, uh, mm -hmm. But, yeah, Ed was a pretty special, special driver. We have lots of special drivers with us, but... Um, well, tell us a little bit about your family and uh, what do you guys like to do in your free time? Uh, you know, tell us a little bit about your private side. Sure. sure. I'm, I'm married, and my husband's name is Rox and Avenin, and uh, we have two daughters. Sophie is our oldest, and she is in fifth grade this year, so she's 10, about to be 11. And uh, then Lily is in third grade, and she is eight. So um, they keep us pretty busy, and um, this year our big thing, fifth grade girls volleyball started, so, um, you know, we're getting into that and, and just trying to, to do things. They find their interest and, and keep them motivated and try new things and stuff, so that's pretty much our outside of work life right now yeah. <laughs> is our family. Uh, yeah. You guys like to travel a lot, too, don't you? Vacation, the beach, uh, 
Big Cedar, yeah. I think. You guys go there quite a bit. So uh, you yeah. like to travel with the family, take a lot of family vacations, which is fun. It's good. Okay, let's see. You've been here two decades. Does that seem <laughs> oh, unreal gosh. to you to say <laughs> two decades? I'm going to give your age away now and say, uh, I think you were about 24 when you started at Maverick, 23, yeah. 24, maybe something like that. And yeah. two decades now would be almost double, you know, well, how old right, you are right. <laughs> so, Now, you're uh, stealing my secret. I tell people that oh, you hired me sorry. before child labor laws <laughs> when I was 10. <laughs> well, that was pretty close. 24 is pretty close. <laughs> but, uh, what advice, having been here for, you know, the two decades that you have, what advice would you give to people if, as far as looking for a place to call home uh, in your career, what advice would you give people? What, what, what would you look for? Maybe one of the things that I would tell people is in looking for a home is that don't look at it as what can they do for me. I mean, that, that is important. I mean, I'm not going to say it's not, but it's, in my mind, it's always been a two-way street. You have to, what can I contribute to the company? Um, because, you know, to feel like family or to be somewhere a long time, I think that it needs to be, it needs to be a two-way beneficial relationship. You know, I'm benefiting in, from the company um, in many ways, but I also want to feel like I can contribute. And so I think that's the, the biggest thing is, is look at it like, how can you be part of something bigger? than yourself really and and you know and dig in and accept challenges and don't be afraid to ask questions and and I, I think my other thing is always you know just because it's a new project or something but it doesn't come with maybe a new title don't look at it that way look at everything as an opportunity to learn more to grow more and to be of more value and um, to yourself and to the company and so I think I think if you if you give your all, Maverick will give their all back to you. And I firmly believe that. Very well said. Thank you. Uh, anything else you'd like to share uh, about your career at Maverick? No, other than I'm very thankful and feel very blessed to have found um, such a great place. And thank you to you for all that you've taught me over the years. I mean, I'm so lucky to have. A wonderful mentor like you and there's so many other people at Maverick that have mm -hmm. um, helped me and I couldn't possibly begin to thank everybody but I mean more than anything I'm just I just feel thankful and blessed to, to have found Maverick and and hope everybody else I want the same thing for other people out there looking for jobs too that they find a forever home well, that's great okay well Happy anniversary, and here's to another 20 years for you, Tiffany. Look forward to it. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.